let's listen. Welcome back to Man on the Street, and we are on site at the Happy Corp Retro Rebellion Show here in Pershing Square in Los Angeles. We're here with the lead singer of Drama Rama, John Easdale. John, great to have you on Man on the Street. How are you? All right, all right, man. Thank you so much for having me on. It's great to have you. So I want to ask you, you guys were a New Jersey band, 1982 you formed in New Jersey. You, you made a record. I don't think you had a record deal or anything going on, any, any backing, but... In 1985, K-Rock DJ Rodney Bingenheimer started playing. He got your record some way, started playing your music on K-Rock. And by 1986-87, uh, you know, Anything Anything was like one of the most requested and played songs on K-Rock. You know, and then you guys pretty much came to Los Angeles and never left right after that. I mean, what, you know, how did, you were from New Jersey, you make it in Los Angeles, when did you start noticing, because I'm from the Midwest, that your music started melting to other parts of the country and other parts of the world? Was it when you went on tour? Well, there was college radio in those days, but what they called at the time modern rock. It was before the phrase alternative had come up. Um, there was only like a handful of modern rock radio stations in the country, and they were mostly on the coasts. Uh, Chicago maybe but even that wasn't commercial it was more college and stuff but then like 1989 uh, by 1989 we started you know infiltrating the the, the inner uh, sections of the country and um, then by the 90s I guess you know there, certainly after uh, Pearl Jam and and and, uh, and Nirvana that's when it blew up and there was alternative rock uh, all around the world but before that it was like 120 minutes on MTV and college radio and then just a handful of radio stations so I don't know we uh, some places we never in never never got to <laughs> you know some places never 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 did uh, hear at least drum rama on the radio exploded onto the radio and to this day remains one of the most played tracks in rock and roll history. Another anthem followed with Last Cigarette. With the band's success came brewing hostilities. Chris and John had a little bit of a falling out. And substance abuse. There was a lot of coke smoke and a lot of coke to sniff in those days. Oh, cocaine is a horrible drug. Began to take their toll. And in 1994, Chris Carter shocked his fellow bandmates by publicly announcing that Drama Rama was breaking up. Chris and John had a fight about something. And Chris, instead of leaving the band or whatever he was going to do, said, well, we'll just break up. It's been over a decade since John Easdale, Mark Engler, Peter Wood, Jesse Farbman, and Chris Carter have been in the same room together. Can we get Chris and John to check their egos at the door and take part in our reunion? The journey begins right now. John, in 2003, you guys uh, did Bands Reunited, VH1 Classic. I just watched it this past week. It was great. And you guys got back together, and for a, sh it, for a short time, you had some shows going, I think until uh, Chris Carter left. And then it's, uh, it's, but you've pretty much been together, putting out new music, you know, ever since that point. Tell me, do you think if it wasn't for that Bands Reunited that you would still be doing drama rama music today? Um, well, I, I started, it took a few years off when the band broke up in the early 90s, like 93, 94, I would say. It took a few years off. Then in 98, I put out a solo album, and then I had a band um mark the guitar player from drum rama was playing with me uh tony and mike uh who are still the bass player and drummer for drum rama now um were, was playing with me peter would play with us when we would head back east so we were all kind of you know jamming but um that was definitely the uh the catalyst for us coming back and playing as drum rama and uh, it's all richard blade's fault because he he tricked us and uh but we're all very good very happy that he did because yeah since 2003 we've all been playing chris only actually did one show with us uh and he did that that tv show and then after that 
uh, I, we went back to using my the, the bass player and a drummer that I was that I was already playing with, and uh, and Peter became back into came back into the fold. Um, Peter still lives in New Jersey, but the rest of us are here in California, and uh, we we've been doing it now for 20 years since since bands reunited. So that's longer than the band was together the first time. So right from the get-go, you guys were kind of categorized because it was the early 80s that you came together, 82, uh, as a new wave band. Um, but my question is, from the get-go, did you always think of this as a new wave band or kind of a rock power pop band? We started out more as a power pop band in, in, the, in like 1981, 1982. Things like the knack and things like that were, were 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 happening, which is you know goes back to the Beatles or the Stones, and those those are the bands we grew up with, you know the Who, and then you know add in uh, the 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 glitter glam music of Bowie and and Martha Hoople and, and and New York Dolls, and but yeah, we're just a rock and roll band, you know. Uh, we 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 never try to you know fit in any way or, or you know dress a certain style or anything, just. So, just rock and roll. So you guys have been out in California, obviously, a long time. But I wanted to ask you, because I'm from Metro Detroit, and, you know, the Romantics is a new wave rock band sure. from Detroit, and they'll always be known as a new wave rock and roll band from Detroit. But my question to you is, you know, you guys started out in New Jersey, but 85, you come out here, you pretty much stay in Los Angeles, Southern California. has been so much a part of your career. When this is all said and done, people are looking back on Dramarama, Will they be a New Jersey band, or will they be a Southern California band? Oh, we're a New Jersey band. I, the, the three guys, the three original members who are still going to be up there on stage tonight, we all graduated high school together, and you know we all grew up in New Jersey, and that's where we got our start, and that's where we got our uh, our roots of of music and everything. You know, it, you know, even though we have a couple of California members and we live out here, the, the band is 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 deeply rooted in, 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 in New Jersey for sure. So what do you have coming up, uh, just to let the fans out there know, any any shows coming up? Are you just going to keep uh, you know, booking shows and doing shows through the rest of this summer and into the fall, winter? Yeah, um, we have one show back east in August at the Wonder Bar in Asbury Park, New Jersey, and then in October we're doing a bunch of shows with the Oingo Boingo uh, and the Tubes and, and uh, the Untouchables, which is a great band. And uh, going back to what you were saying about the Romantics, uh, they're the perfect example of the kind of band that we were like, you know, looking at, like beatly, you know rock music you know and uh we've we've played a few shows with wally in fact we've we've backed wally up on a couple of uh a couple of these shows uh these 80 shows over over the past few years and he's a great guy and and just yeah a legend just wanted to throw that in there hey wally 